I've got to say, this has probably been the weakest box office in years. It's kind of crazy to see just how low the box office has been over the past couple of weeks. Theaters have to be upset. They can't be happy about this because, like, no one's showing up. There's not a lot to go see, though. I mean... Wakanda Forever is there, but how many times are people going to go see that movie? It's nowhere near what the first movie did. And I'm not saying that this movie's not making money. It's going to hit $800 million. There's no way that it won't. Avatar comes out next week. Avatar pretty much has the theater to itself for I don't even know how long. Probably until sometime in January. So the only other movie that's going to be sitting there with it will be Wakanda Forever. So it will likely limp past eight hundred million. But I think that's where it's gonna that's where it's gonna end up settling is somewhere around there. So I was right. I said eight hundred something million. That's where I figured it would end up and that's where it's probably gonna stay. Because it's still bringing in a little bit of money every weekend. On the final weekend before Avatar, the way of water dominates screens globally, but it still led the Worldwide box office, it ended up adding eleven point eight million over the weekend. A couple more weekends like that, it'll hit eight hundred million. I think it's it's gonna it's gonna hit it barely. It'll limp there, but like I said, the advantage of this movie has is the fact that there's just nothing else. You pretty much have Avatar and that. Like, look at this Puss in Boots movie, The Last Wish. Nine million. You would think that that would do better. That's a family movie, too. The franchise, it's the Shrek movie, so I don't know. I don't know how, how well people still think of that franchise. They haven't really done anything with it in years. But you would think that that would do a little bit more. But it, it only, according to them, pulled in like nine million. So that's kind of crazy if you think about it. Uh, there is this movie from Brendan Fraser, The Whale. It's setting a 2022 record for best limited opening. I don't know why it's a limited release. Why wouldn't you just put this in many as many theaters as possible? It's getting a lot of praise. It's also getting a lot of people upset because they didn't get an actual 400-pound man. <laughs> they got Brendan Fraser and put him in a fat suit. So, of course, there's a lot of reading about that. So I hope the movie does extremely well because of that. Just because it's funny to see those people twist in the wind. I, I hear it's a decent movie. If they put it in theaters that aren't two hours to drive to, <laughs> I might check it out. If not, I'll have to wait till it comes to streaming to watch it. Because I'm not driving two hours to watch a movie. Two hours there, two hours back. That's four hours plus the movie time. That's a, You're investing an entire day at that point into seeing this movie. Which, you know, I like Brendan Fraser. But I don't know if you're worth six hours of my time. <laughs> like, put this, in, put this in more theaters. I don't understand why they're just releasing it in such a small scale. Do theaters just not want it? I don't know what's going on there. But let's take a look at the actual numbers. Because there's some funny ones in here. Especially Disney and their strange world disaster. Barely making any money at all. It's such a joke at this point. It's fun to laugh at it. Weekend box office at $38 million, near 2022 low before Avatar The Way of Water soaks up all the air Sunday update. This is crazy. Only $38 million. And it's been like this since Thanksgiving. Every week is a low box office. Black Panther is not the juggernaut everyone thought it was going to be. I mean, it's making money. Don't get me wrong. I, I believe it's already broke even. But it, it's not the juggernaut the first one was. It didn't lose money, though. So I don't know how much of a fail this is because it made money. And technically, if you're making money, you're doing okay. I think the, the disappointment is it didn't do what the first one did. But you were never going to have that. You don't have T'Challa. You don't have Chadwick Boseman. 
If he was in this movie, it would have been a juggernaut, but he's not. It's kind of a depressing movie, to be honest. It's not the first one was fun. The second one's like a funeral. Literally, it is a funeral. So we already talked about Black Panther, but let's head on down to the other stuff. Let's take a look at the weekend top ten. Weekend top ten, Wakanda Forever. Friday it made two point eight million. Saturday five point one million. Uh, the total three day, or no, Sunday, Saturday it made 5.1 million. Sunday it made 3.1 million. Uh, three day, 11.1, total 409 million. Now that's just domestic. Internationally, worldwide, it's at 768 million. I just want to, I want to point that out. Violent Night, you would think it'd do a little bit better. It's a Christmas movie, but it's a rated R Christmas movie action. It's like John Wick Santa Claus or something. I saw Gary from Nerdrotic said he liked it. I'll probably watch it eventually, maybe next year. I don't want to go to the theaters right now. I just don't have the time to go see something like Violent Night. But this is doing awful, too. $26 million? I don't know. Is that good for a number two? You know, like, I don't know how much it costs to make that movie. I'm going to guess probably $100 million something. That's just a, a guess because it has some special effects in it. And you have Strange World. Now this is the this is the beautiful one. This is the this is the one we were all waiting for. I love checking on this movie because it's so fun to see Disney just get smacked. Imagine if Avatar fails, and I don't think it will. The fact that it has the theater to itself, uh, I think it'll make money. But man, imagine if that doesn't make money. If people actually don't go see that movie, that will be an amazing failure for Disney because Disney absorbed all of those costs for that movie when they bought Fox. So. It's more on the table for them now, and it'll be funny if that movie bombs. That'll be a, yeah, another failure for them the year. They've had a bad year this year. But Strange World, Friday, 787K. Saturday, 1.8 million. Sunday, 1 million. For a three-day grand total of $3.6 million, adding to a grand total <laughs> domestically at $30.4 million. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is embarrassing. This is a Disney movie. This is a mainstream. This is a big Disney movie. This is their animated division. Uh, this is what Disney is known for. And this is such a spectacular train wreck. I love it. I love seeing this movie do bad, uh, just like Lightyear, because Disney is stupid. Uh, they've thrown everything into the trash, and it's just fun to see them just really lose it there. Then you have Devotion, Black Adam, which is only at a total of $166 million domestically. Man, that's, that's unfortunate. I didn't think that movie was awful. It's not great. But uh, not doing well there. I wonder what happened. Is it word of mouth? Marketing? Anyway, Disney, not doing that well. Uh, the box office is theirs. Because don't forget, Black Panther is their movie as well. So they're going to be sitting at the top with Avatar and Black Panther for the next couple of weeks. I just, I wonder... How well does Avatar 2 do? That's the that's the question. I'm I'm really curious to see what that movie does because it's been so long since the first Avatar. You know, do, is the hype still there? We'll find out. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble, my locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. 
You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.